Welcome to the Groom Up Podcast, a weekly concoction of irreverence, humor, and science designed to nourish your mind and brighten your day. My name is Miguel Hernandez, and in today's episode, I'll share a three-step framework that will help you double your productivity, or at least it did for me. Let's do it. As most entrepreneurs, I'm obsessed with being more productive. And I always ask myself, how can I get more stuff done in less time with less effort? I wish there was a button to accomplish everything I wanted. Need awesome healthy meal delivered to my mouth? Press button one. Need laundry done? Press button two. Press button three. New fancy, trendy, colorful socks appear on my feet. Button four. Beard shaved. Button five, amazing sexy haircut done. Button six, all my life's problems solved. Button seven, complete and utter happiness and two trillion zillion dollars in my bank account. Button eight, super fluffy kitty pern on my lap. You get the idea. So far, I've only managed to program a button that plays the song, The Final Countdown by Europe. Thanks to Flick.io, a company that sells super nerdy programmable wireless buttons. These buttons are super cute. They're very, very little. They have a battery inside and they're super easy to program and you can do all kinds of things with them. Among them, play the song that you want to on your iPhone. You press the button and then it will do whatever you want to. How cool is that? I'm working on the other tasks I mentioned and I'm sure one day Flick.io, Google or Skynet will figure them out. But in the meantime, how did I double my productivity? It's called RAD, R-A-D, Romeo Alpha Delta. Remember that, remember RAD. Stands for Reduce, Automate, Delegate. You can apply it to everything in life. Well, I don't know if everything, but a bunch of things for sure. It works best for repetitive tasks like dealing with email. And I get lots of email. And if you're a busy person, you probably get lots of emails. So it's a, it's a pretty good system. I've applied to dealing with my email. And for the last five years, I've reached inbox zero every day. Boom. Now this means that all my emails that I get, which is anywhere between 50 and 100 emails a day, are dealt with, right? So I either reply to them or I forward them to somebody on my team. But anyways, they're dealt with. So at the end of the every day, all the emails are read. And that's really cool. Now, if you're super famous and super busy and you have emails coming left and right, if you have more than 100 emails a day, this may be tricky to apply. Definitely the delegation part is where you're going to have to work the hardest at getting somebody to deal with your email. The framework is pretty self-explanatory as it should be all frameworks, you know, make it easy to understand. Let's go over the three parts. Reduce. If you're not being productive, it's because you're spending too much time on tasks that are not helping you get stuff done. So get rid of them. A lot of the email is email that doesn't even need to be read. A lot of it is just notifications from your apps, from your social media. So just turn them off, not just on your email, but on your phone as well. Just doing that one thing may save you hundreds of hours of trying to manage those notifications during the year. So too much email, turn off notifications and subscribe from everything. Consolidate all your inboxes into one. Like I've done in Gmail, which is my favorite email client. If you have several inboxes, you can forward them all to a single one. So you only have to check one location. If you're getting a lot of spam from newsletters that you never subscribe to, use a tool like unroll.me which is free and scans your entire inbox to find all those newsletters. And that way they don't hit your inbox. You still can access them and see who is trying to send you newsletters. And you see them all in a big list that you can subscribe from as many as you want really quickly. And then you can decide which ones you want to appear on your inbox. In my case, the first time I did it, there was about 400 subscriptions. Most of them I never subscribed to. So I just went systematically and unsubscribed to a lot of them. Then the ones that I found that were important, like 
definitely bank notifications or so you can select the ones you want to read to make sure that those do appear in your inbox if you want to. And that's it for reduce. The next one is my favorite one because it's the nerdiest of all is automate. We live in awesome times and thanks to technology, we can get computers to do almost anything we want, even drive cars for us, at least pretty soon. Okay. Not everything can be automated, but clever tools are helping us to get there. You can use tools like Zapier or IFTTT to connect apps and reduce repetitive tasks. For email, you can use Gmail smart filters to automatically categorize your emails, reply to them, or to actually forward them to somebody that can deal with them. This is actually fairly simple to use and a few automations can make your life a lot easier. I love Gmail automation. It's not hard to learn. And by the way, I created an online course where I teach all of this. It's called Gmail Domination. If you just go to Google and type Gmail Domination or Miguel Gmail Udemy or something like that, you'll be able to see a three hour course where I go really into detail on what it takes to automate your inbox as much as possible. So the last one is delegate. Delegate is not for everybody because I mean, it means you're going to have to spend money on hiring somebody to do this. But I'm, nowadays, we, you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars on hiring somebody full time. You just can go and get a virtual assistant at Upwork or there's many different virtual assistant services out there that for a few bucks every week, they will deal with all the tedious tasks that you don't want to deal with. Like, you know, maybe coming through your email and categorizing it, booking flights and hotels, all that stuff, right? So you can get a virtual assistant to deal with all these administrative tasks. And if you're running a business and want to grow it, learning to delegate will be one of the most useful skills you can develop. I know when I started Groom Media, it was just me and I did absolutely everything. And pretty soon it was quite obvious that I couldn't handle all the work that was being thrown at me. I was like, well, it's great to grow, but I cannot do this all myself. It's not, I don't have enough hours in the day. So the logical thing is to hire somebody. That makes a lot of sense when you're growing a business. But as a, an individual, we forget that you can also treat your own life as if it was a business and your time is very valuable. So very simple. Everything that is low value task, as you can outsource. Now, if you are not making a lot of money, this is going to be hard. But if you are making like, let's say more than 50 grand a year, you could devote a couple thousand dollars a year just to not having to deal with a lot of the stuff that you find extremely boring and time consuming, right? And if you're a, you know, high net worth individual, you're making more than a hundred thousand dollars a year, two hundred thousand dollars a year. There is really no excuse for you not to spend ten, twenty thousand dollars a year to make sure that you don't have to deal with anything that is not the best used of your time. A must read book on this topic is called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. And I remember when I read it, it was very timely because I just started Grumo Media. And before that, I spent a year and a half trying to develop a product that was a disaster. And I wished I read it before because The E-Myth Revisited is all about how to grow a business and how to start working on your business, not in your business. So stop trying to do everything, focus on the stuff that you're really good and then delegate everything else to a contractor or an employee. The E-Myth Revisited is a weird name, uh, but I'll put it on the notes of the show at grumo.com. And another classic book on productivity is Getting Things Done by David Allen. Obviously, I recommend that you read them but the whole idea is to make things simple for you in this podcast. So if you can remember, reduce, automate and delegate. And every time you find yourself like, oh, I'm, I cannot handle this. It's too much work. Think about what can I eliminate from this situation that is not essential? What can I automate with tools that are available today? And if it cannot be automated, what can I delegate to somebody at an affordable price that can probably do a better job than myself? So there you go. Was this useful to you? Now I just need a button that does this rad thing for me and I would be set. I know you're going to ask, but Miguel, if you can get everything you want with the push of a button, wouldn't your life be super boring? Of course not. Half of my day would be devoted to pressing buttons. So that would be very busy just pressing buttons. Click, 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 do this, the other thing, you know, automate my entire life. 
Of course, that's until someone came up with a button that would press all the buttons for me, the so-called mother of all buttons. And the other half of my day, well, of course, I would spend eating all the cookies in the world. Wow! Now I have a question for you. If you could own a button that did anything that you wanted when you pressed it, what would it do? You can let me know on Twitter at GrumoMix, G-R-U-M-O-M-I-G-S, or you can just send me an email at miguel at grumo.com. Tell me if you own a button, what you would want that button to do. All right. And okay, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to it, rate it, and share it with your friends. And if you didn't, well, just send your feedback at miguel at grumo.com and I'll do my best to improve this podcast so you love it. Thanks for listening. My name is Miguel Hernandez and this was the Grumo Podcast. <laughs>